Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stump back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're over here on the global side of the game, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a pirate rumble video for you guys today. So, with the release of Kaido and Zoro, I really want to give them a go and test them both out in pirate rumble. So, Kaido is probably arguably one of the best rumble units in the entire game. It's really what sort of drives people to summon for this guy. He is the start of the Quick Resurgence, and Quick is going to get very, very strong moving forward after his release. His Rumble Special at level 10, I do have him maxed out, will set Defense down level 3 for a large range for 5 seconds. He will give do 2 times his attack in damage to the large range, and then targets all enemies for 50% chance to paralyze for 20 seconds. His Rumble Ability boosts Quick characters by HP level 5, Defense level 3, and for the first 40 seconds of battle, he gives himself... 10, level 10 attack and level 10 speed which is very very strong this guy is so self-sufficient that he can actually find his way onto rainbow teams onto the slasher teams because he's so self-sufficient he can actually do a job and actually do a job really really well next we have zoro now zoro isn't as appealing as um kaido is for rumble but in saying that he is still very very good with dex being one of the better defensive teams this guy has found his way onto the bench and he can actually do a lot for your team. He's special at level 10. I only have him at level 8 though. So his special level 8 is frontal range attack times 1. And when time is less than 50 seconds, he does more damage. And when time is less than 30 seconds, he's going to do even more damage on top of that. Um, at level 10, he basically does the same thing. But it's 2 times damage instead of 1.7. His rumble ability, which I do have max, gives him an own cooldown speed level 3, attack level 5, and then dex type teammates attack level 5 and speed level 3. So the idea of this guy is just you want to put him on your bench. And for a dex team, that actually can be quite beneficial as he come, comes in and does quite a lot of damage. So let's head over to um, rumble, wherever it is. Let's take a look at the teams we're going to be looking at today. I do have three main teams that we are going to take in. I'm going to do five matches. I'm not sure which team we're going to test twice, but this is the mono quick team I've put together. With um, Tessero being very, very good, um, Raid, Bellamy, and Invenkov being great as well. We have V3 Kuzan, who have actually maxed as well. We have Stussy, PvP Whitebit, and then Sober Mask is literally just here as a nuker on the final slot. Next, we've got the OG Slasher team, but we've literally just slotted Kaido in here. Shout out to my boy, Rumble Scratch. I will link his channel in the description below. Uh, I do have some stuff planned with that man coming up, but we're going to talk about Kaido a little bit more. Uh, and he said that basically you can just slap Kaido on this team, and he actually does a lot of work. So we're going to give that a try as well. And then finally, we're going to test the Dex team. Now, I did actually pull Cavendish. Uh, with the latest release and I do have Frankie as well so we are going to test that I don't know if Frankie's the best option I think the rare recruit Frankie is a little bit better but I do have this Frankie max so I thought I would just slip him on the team anyway so I'm probably going to do at least two matches with the quick team I don't know how I'll go I might do two matches with the slashes or I might do two um two matches with the dex team I'm not 100 percent sure but we are going to start it off with the quick team first uh, I'm not very high and I'm only in exhibition, so hopefully we can actually try and find some teams that are actually like sort of decent. Uh, I don't really want to take on the OG slashes. Um, we can take on this slasher team though. It's not the best slasher team in the world as it doesn't have Roger, which is a big downside. But this will give us a good indication of like how strong Mono Quick can be. So once we get all our abilities activated, Kaido is going to be sitting at 14 attack, 11 defense, 10 HP, and 5, uh, 15 speed, while the rest of them are all basically 10 levels lower. With um, these characters special, we do have level 5 uh, special cooldown as well. With Bellamy and Ivankov, they actually pop their specials off very, very fast, and they can actually give attack down and defense down and stuff like that as well. So we are going to see Bellamy's special pop off first. He's going to give defense down level 4, which is great. That way, Kaido can actually hit a lot harder. Shanks is going to come in and give uh, his team a little bit more defense, and then we are going to start going off. Look how fast Bellamy is attacking. Bellamy just attacks so damn quick. We're going to lower the attack with Ivankov, which is great. Bellamy's special is ready to go once again. Kaido is going to come in, lower the defense, and just blow away Roger. Easy, uh, sorry, Odin, easy peasy. So now we don't have to worry about the Odin special, which is great. This team actually has quite a bit of defense. If it had Roger, it would have a little bit more. We might try and take on another slasher team, uh, one that actually has Roger on it. I don't know how we'll go, but... We'll definitely give it a whirl. As you can see though, Kaido, he, he takes no prisoners and he actually does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. So they did have Sober Mask come in. Sober Mask is a nuker, which is a bit of a annoyance. Um, but now he kills Bellamy. So we are going to get Kuzan. Ideally, we, you want kind of want Stussy to die here. Stussy's kind of like 
only good in the first 40 seconds. That's why I have her in the middle slot. Uh, but now that that sort of time frame is up, he, she's kind of just pointless. Kuzan's really good too because he can actually special seal as well. So he's another very good option. Ideally, I wanted Stussy to die a little bit quicker. But Stussy just doesn't seem to be being attacked. Which is a little bit annoying. But fitting for that, we are going to get Kaido to get that final shot. And let's move on to the next match now. Alright, so we're going to give this quick team a bit of a whirl against, um, not the most optimal slasher team, but still a very, very good one. A very good defensive slasher team, actually. The fact that Shanks crew is on the team scares the crap out of me. Every time I verse a team, a slash team that has Shanks crew as a defensive team, Shanks crew always just puts in so much work with defense that it's just so goddamn scary, man. Like, it's so goddamn scary. But let's see how we go with the Mono Quick team against Slashes. Mono Quick will obviously have that resurgence once we get Treasure Map Queen, Magellan, the new super type Luffy versus Kiny. Once all those characters start to come out, Quick becomes very, very strong. Now, ideally, we really want Stussy out of here. Like, we want all the attacks to be hit on Stussy, so that way we can actually get our Kuzan unit to come in. And then Kuzan can start doing special binding and all that sort of, um, all those sort of shenanigans as well. Ivankov is going to lower attack, which is really, really nice. Roger's going to come in and do a lot of damage. Only hitting Stussy is really, really nice. The fact that Stussy's the only one that copped all that. Oh, Stussy in the front there. Good girl, Stussy. Keep taking those shots, Stussy. If Stussy can pop off her special, and then, like, if we can say goodbye to our girl, Stussy. Dofi is going to come in, and he is going to hit us. So, hopefully, all our characters don't stack up next to Stussy. That would be great. We did manage to paralyze here. Okay. This could hurt. All right, we lost Bellamy as well, but that's okay because we do get Whitebeard and Kuzan coming in. We are going to cop a Dofi special here, though. Okay, Kaido's still alive. That's the main thing. Can we lower some attack with Ivankov? Do a little bit of damage. And hopefully... Okay, so the paralysis of um, Kaido just came in clutch there as Kuzan didn't actually attack. Fortunately, we didn't special bind anyone with our Kuzan special, which is a little bit annoying. And they got Hawkins. What Hawkins is that? Oh, it's a Fortnite Hawkins. I was like, how do you fit Hawkins on that team? Okay, so Whitebeard's going to come in now. Hopefully, Whitebeard's only going to hit one unit. I guess that's the, the payback that we get for the good RNG that we had. Shanks crew is going to give a defense buff as well as HP cut to us. And then Kaido. No, Kaido, get in there, bro. Ah, oh, that's annoying. He still managed to hit quite a few units, but Roger's just going to clean us up now. Roger is just going to... Can we get the special of Kuzan? Not... Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, Silvermast took the spot of Kaido and not Kuzan, so that's going to be a bit of an annoyance, and we're probably going to lose here now. But, look, it is what it is. It was a good sort of test to see how we stack up against the Slashes, and obviously this team is just going to get better as more units do release. If we can get our Whitebeard special off, actually, we might be okay here. We have lowered their attack quite significantly. Oh my gosh, we actually managed to get a W here. Beautiful. So there you guys go. So that was against the Slasher team. It was pretty clutch, and there was some good RNG there. We did have some bad RNG too, but look, it is what it is at the end of the day. All right, so moving over to the Dex team now. I think I'm only just going to do one match with uh, Zoro and the Dex team. Ideally, this is like what you want to be running as your defensive team. Uh, Dex sort of just sort of thrives with defense rather than actual offense. But this will give you guys a bit of an idea if you guys want to be using... Um, or if you already are using Dex and you do have Zoro, how he'll perform. We may or may not even see the man as he is used as a bench unit. Um, you could easily... I should have put him in front of Sober Mask, actually. That should have... I should have really done that. But this team that I'm versing is actually, like, really bad. Um, I just realized how bad this team was after I hit Enter. <laughs> so this is not really going to be the greatest sort of idea. But it is going to give you guys an indication of how much tanking this team actually has. They're using V1 Lucci, which is very, very strange. The original Tank Man as well, which is an odd choice. But at least we'll get to see Cavendish in action as well. Cavendish is a really, really good unit. As you can see, he's here for 10, 10k, which is nuts. Kid is a very, very good Rumble unit as well. He's basically our damage deal as well as giving us lots of defense. And then once Rayleigh pops his special off too, we're going to be having a good time. Corazon, another ama absolutely amazing uh, Rumble unit. He is very, very strong as well. And he helps out actually um, nerfing against the uh, quick meta that will be coming in very, very soon. Well, this team has way too much defense. We're not even going to see Zoro. Hopefully, we don't actually time out either. The problem with the Dex team is it just doesn't have that much damage output compared to how much like tankiness and HP and stuff it has. But like I said, utilizing this team as a defensive team can actually work really, really well. 
Alright, Rayleigh's gonna do a whole bunch of damage. As you can see, like, we're slowly plotting away, taking taking out unit by unit. But as you can see, like, we just really don't have that much damage output. And that's where the sort of time limit starts to sort of creep up on us. Cavendish is going to finish it off. And that's going to do it for the dex team. I might do another dex match because I just don't think that was a great example of showing off Zoro. I'll swap Zoro and Silver Mask as well. All right, so we're going to do another dex match. And I put, I put Zoro in the front lines this time. That way we can actually see like his potential we won't see him at his best obviously because he is a nuker he's designed to sort of do all his damage at the back end of the fight uh, but we'll put him in the front see how he goes check out his special and uh, hopefully he can provide a little bit more attack to our team and that way we can actually get through some of these fights a little bit quicker again this team is not a great team um, they do have a lot of defensive units like bullet and um capone but as you can see, with Zoro in the front line, we have 22 attack on Zoro, which is great. It means Zoro is just going to be hitting very, very hard every time he comes around. Unfortunately, decks don't have a lot of speed, which is another sort of um, issue with them. But as you can see, Zoro can do a lot of damage. And if we were in the back end of the fight, that damage will be even higher. Um, but this team sort of relies on Cavendish to do all the heavy lifting as well as Kid. And that, that actually went ridiculously fast. Um, having Zoro in the front line gives you a lot more attack. But ideally, as I mentioned, you do want to run this team as a uh, defensive setup have him in the back and have him coming in nuking and hopefully taking out uh, the likes of stuff like odin and whatnot or like after they've used their special Rayleigh, another really really good rumble unit um he's a central for the dex team as you can see he gives guard he gives a uh, defense up which is really really strong and then with Submar Mask being another nuker in the back as well, we can we can sort of rely on Zoro to be in the front. Okay, so we did see Zoro hit his double special. Um, in the last sort of 30 seconds, 40 seconds, we will see that pop off once again. But that was a, that was a bit of a better showing. All right, so for the final team of the video, we are using Kaido on the Slashers team. And we have found a like a, a fairly solid team. Um, I haven't looked at what like their cotton candy or their like what their stats are or their rumble abilities and stuff like that we're just going to go in and just see how this team actually performs utilizing kaido on the og Roden team that has roger odin dofi and kazara utilizing dofi is actually really really good for kaido as well because kaido is driven powerhouse it means that dofi actually boosts kaido so the slashes being roger odin and kazara are all boosting themselves where we have Dofi giving defense to our slashes and driven units, which means that Kaido is actually going to be getting a lot of defense as well. And when Kaido pops off his special, he's going to be like another nuker, making this team a little bit faster. Uh, well, not faster, because Law can give cooldowns, but it's going to give uh, this team a little bit more uh, damage output once we start popping off all of our specials. The question is going to be is if we can tank this shot right here. That's going to be the real test. Fortunately, we lose Kazaru, but that's not that big of an issue. We are going to lose Roger now. But we will have um, Kolgara and Nolan come in for where Kizaru was. So they're going to they're gonna get all of their special. Our Odin's going to pop off now. Unfortunately, we only hit Dofi, which is a huge, huge RNG loss. Dofi's going to come in, hit the back units, take out their um, back units there. And then hopefully Kaido does some work here. Okay, we paralyzed. Do we even get the paralysis off? That white bid scares the crap out of me. Okay, well, this is going to be GG now. Unfortunately, that Shanks defense just gave them a little bit too much defense, and um, they managed to sort of tank their way through. Can we kill Dofi here? Okay, well, of course, we hit the one unit that has 100,000 HP, and that's just going to be GG. So, unfortunately, the defensive slasher team still reigns supreme, um, but as you can see, like, Kaido, Kaido put in a showing and actually does fairly work. Um, this particular defensive team actually beats my previous team as well, with the Neo Slashers being Law and um halloween shanks so i guess we haven't really moved too far from where we already were wow dofi actually just sort of came in clutch there but wipe going to finish it off but there you guys go that was my uh, pvp showcase for kaido and zoro i hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did make sure to go in there and belt the like button for me if you're new to the channel too hit that big red subscribe button as well but guys wherever you are in this beautiful world make sure to enjoy the rest of your day as always i thank you for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one lights